Hey guys, it's me, Picking for Profit, coming to you with another sales update video. These sales are for the month of December. I had a pretty good month. I'm still increasing every month from when I set that goal. This month I hit a little over 3,000. Um, a thousand of that was one item that really wasn't for resale. I was just selling it to get rid of it. We'll get into that a little bit later. So I hit just a little over a couple hundred over uh, 2,000, which seems to be what I've been making the past three months is roughly 2,000 uh, each month for my eBay sales. Uh, in 2017, I'm going to kill it. So with that said, I want to say Happy New Year. It's officially 2017, January 1st. Um, so yeah, let's jump into this sales video. And when we're uh, going through these sales, make sure that you're not just looking at the items I'm picking. Uh, look at the keywords I'm using, the quality of pictures I'm using, and um, yeah, let's get right into it. So I'm going to go into these sales from what sold most recent until December 1st. So we're going to work backwards. So this I put on um, December 31st, and it sold... Um, I put it on for actually a little like ten dollars higher than this um, Someone emailed me. I don't offer best offer because I just don't have very good luck with people uh, doing immediate payment So I do buy it now only uh, If they're serious, they'll always email you and ask you if you'll drop your price This gentleman did I lowered the price to fifty five dollars. I bought this at a flea market uh, Maybe I don't know Two, three weeks ago and I paid five dollars for this it is an SX 70 keep your eye out for the chrome and brown they're the most sought after um, so uh, those are always good to keep your eye out on this next item I made a Facebook post if you don't follow me on Facebook make sure you do it's picking profits um, this is an American Indian uh, handmade pin it's probably like a dog or a donkey, probably a running dog. Um, it kind of looks like a swastika, and if you think it does look like a swastika, you're right. In Native American uh, beliefs, it is called a whirling log, and they're for good luck, ward off like bad spirits and that sort. So I picked this up at the same flea market that I got that SX-70 from. Uh, it's a flea market in Columbus, Scott's Antique Show. I paid a dollar for this. Um, I put it on for $29.99 and it literally sold in less than a minute. So I might have priced it too low, but turning a dollar into $29.99, um, I'm okay with that. So on to the next one. These are my new biggest thing I'm always on the lookout for is vintage safety glasses. I don't know if they're in style to wear or what, but these were actually in a box of some stuff I bought. I actually bought the box for a different pair of safety glasses and these were in it. Um, when I was looking for information on other sold listings for the other pair of safety glasses, I seen a picture of these, and I immediately knew that I had this pair. They actually command quite a bit of money, and with some good pictures and the right keywords, I was able to pull out $29.99. Um, so these are basically free. I paid $5 for the whole lot of items, and you'll see that I sold more stuff out of that lot as well. So if you can get these for under $5, I would definitely do it. Again, I always, most of the time, I offer free shipping. I just build the shipping into my price. So you do what you want, but that's what works best for me. The next item, I got a jar of these. These are just your normal small little shark teeth. Um, keywords on here, I put shark teeth, fossils, DIY, wire wrap. That's probably what people use these for is craft projects. I put them in lots of 50. I probably have close to a thousand in the jar I bought for it was under five dollars I paid for it at an auction. So I sell I've sold two or three of these lots so far and I get ten dollars free shipping. I ship them in a small padded envelope. It's like two fifty to ship. So it's probably only five, six, seven bucks profit, but um you do that enough times and it's fifty, then it's five hundred and so on. So I'm okay with it. I still have a jar, I just count out 50, take a picture, and ship them off. So anything will sell, um, in my opinion anyway. Here is a second SX-70. This one's in a little bit better shape uh, than the first one I showed you, and it comes with the owner's manual. Let's see if we can get a picture of that. Yeah, so you see the owner's manual here. 
The other one you'll remember I got $55. It had a slight issue. The door wasn't uh, staying tight, which means the camera's getting ready to go bad. It can be fixed. Um, the person I sold it to, I made sure they knew that. They had no problem with it. This one I sold uh, for $79.99. Again, it was in great working order with a tight gate. So, happy with that. You might recognize this ring uh, from a previous video back in June, maybe July. I purchased this ring at a, a garage sale, a street sale, for 50 cents. I knew exact immediately when I looked at it exactly what it was. I didn't even need to look at the back, and that's a little tip. If you think you have something interesting and they don't want very much for it, don't inspect it. Don't pull out your loop and look at it. Don't don't seem too interested because then they might grab it and seem more interested. So just buy it. Uh, it was 50 cents. I knew what it was. Um, I didn't know to the extent of what it was, but I knew it was gold. I knew it was real. Uh, upon further research, this is a $2,000 ring. Um, part of the Le'Veon Chocolate Collection. It's got chocolate diamonds, smoky quartz. Beautiful ring. I had trouble selling it. I was trying to get six, seven hundred bucks. I had a guy at the flea, mar flea market months ago offer me basically the same price and I passed it up. Should have taken it because this took extremely long um, to get rid of. So finally glad that's gone. 50 cents into 420. Not too shabby. These I got at a flea market. They were in a box lot. Five dollars. Uh, I got two of them. I sold both of them, I guess. Twenty-five dollars, free shipping. Here is a Palm Pilot. I got this at a thrift store. I believe I paid about seven dollars. I'm not sure on this one. I know it was under ten, and I sold it for twenty dollars. Again, free shipping. The next item we have are these videos. I purchased these for 10 cents a piece. I've sold a few of lots now. Uh, they are new, sealed in the package. They're vintage car movies. Uh, two tape sets. So each box has two tapes. So there's actually 12 tapes here. Um, again, pay attention to the keywords. Um, the pictures aren't that great, but what can you do? Uh, they are just movies. So I've been selling these for $30. Uh, for six and the good thing is these uh, ship media mail so I'm shipping this out for about four or five dollars um, again I have ten cents into each one of these and I have about fifty more um, maybe not fifty maybe two dozen uh, but we sold these for nineteen ninety nine plus nine ninety nine shipping so I made a little bit on shipping the other ones I'm selling for twenty nine ninety nine free shipping I believe so Again, vintage VHS tapes, new sealed, uh, do really well um, eBay and on Amazon. So uh, keep your eye out for anything new, sealed, and vintage. These you've seen previous sales update video. I'm still hustling them. I actually went to an auction this past Friday a few days ago, and I bought 48 more. I bought all 48 for $4, so that's less than a dollar a piece. And I'm slinging these bad boys for $9.99 free shipping. Um, at this time, I have sold two out of this one. I did make a few different listings, some on brown background, some on white, some on the carpet, um, just to give it a variety. Uh, so I'm selling these for $10. Again, I have less than a dollar into them. They are shipping for first class. Uh, the heavier rate, it's like $3.50, I believe. So I have about $4 into these. Um, so I'm only making five or six bucks, but again, I have about 70 of them. So again, I'm happy with $5 a piece. This is a vintage clock. I got this at a uh, Young's auction here in Ohio. Um, I paid $5 for the whole flat. There was this, um, about three pocket watches. I sold all the pocket watches. I made about $50 profit on the pocket watch cases. Um, so this again is all profit. But I did buy the whole lot of stuff for uh, $5, and this sold for $49.99. So uh, this is an alarm clock, a carriage alarm clock. I tried selling this at the flea market for $40. I had several gentlemen that knew their clock stuff say I was asking too little. 
Um, I told them if it's if it's worse than watch, why don't you buy it? But they didn't bite. Um, but with their information, I knew what I had. I knew what to look for. I knew that it was an alarm clock. I knew that it was a carriage clock. So just listen to what people say. Um, don't believe everything you hear, but definitely take it in. Do your own research. I found out this is pretty uh, sought after, this little alarm clock. And I got 50 bucks out of it. So that's about... I packed package this really well because I didn't want to return so I probably have ten dollars in the shipping um, still forty dollars profit I'll take it all day this is actually uh, in one of my flea market finds videos one of my first flea market finds videos if you go back and look um, I'll try to put a link in the description box below I think I purchased this for thirty or forty bucks um, I actually paid two hundred dollars for a whole bunch of items that I bought from this gentleman, maybe $150. I'll have to go back and watch the video myself. But I got a Zeiss camera in there. This, a bunch of sterling silver pieces. I made several hundred off the camera. I made almost a hundred, maybe two hundred off the sterling silver pieces. They were really good. And then I have this as well. Um, I wasn't too keen on selling this, but I got actually a pretty cool one he right here. It's smaller. It's more of what I wanted. Um, so once I got this, once I found this one, I was okay with selling the bigger one. And I sold this for $129.99, uh, free shipping. And why I sold this one over other people selling similar ones, the guy messaged me and asked me, if he bought it now, would I be able to ship it out in the morning? I did him one better and said I, ha I live near an airport. Uh, we have a post office branch open until 2 a.m. So I actually went and dropped it off that same night, and he was extremely happy. So going above and beyond sometimes pays off. I'm happy with that $80, $80 profit there. These Rain-X, you might have seen this if you've watched my auctions haul video. I purchased, I believe, 50 of these, maybe a little more. Um, for just under a dollar a piece. I've been slinging them in pairs of two. Um, I ran a sale, I believe. You can see right here, most people are selling them for $29.95. I did $22.99. I sold a couple pairs so far. Um, so $20 profit. And I shipped these. I believe I got first class out of this. It was just, it was like 16 point something, 16 ounces. 16 point something ounces so I just said it was a uh, one pound um, had no problem uh, so that's good about twenty dollars profit there this is something I knew nothing about when I bought it uh, the it came in a flat which is just a cardboard box with a bunch of items in it it had this a tray um, again you'll see this in my flea or my auction haul video just a couple videos back if you want to check that out. Um, I looked up the name on my phone at the auction. I seen that they were commanding really good money, so I knew I was going to bid up on this. I actually ended up getting this for $5, um, maybe seven fifty, but I believe it was $5. Um, it, beautiful condition. You can see right here. really is in really good condition. The gilding's good. There's no cracks, no chips. There are a few flaws, but I photographed those, and I believe they're from the manufacturing company, like some air bubbles right here in the center. Um, but I put this on. I seen them go for a hundred bucks. I had five dollars into it. I don't know that much about it. I put took good pictures, used good keywords, uh, sold mine for sixty nine ninety nine free shipping. I believe I have thirteen dollars in the shipping. I packaged this really well. I double boxed it. Um, Again, I had such little money into it, I'm happy with $40, $45 profit. Here, I actually picked this out of the garbage at the auction several months ago. Um, this is in New Mexico. Um, it's signed. It's just a tile, like a porcelain tile or ceramic tile. Shiprock. Um, he's a decent artist. His stuff sells pretty well. I sold, I put it on for 
89.99 or something crazy didn't get any bites kept lowering it ended up getting forty dollars plus free shipping i shipped this priority maybe six bucks shipping um actually yeah it was six dollars shipping and i got 40 bucks and i have zero dollars into it so about thirty dollars profit uh don't be afraid to dig it around in the garbage it pays off sometimes again here's that roto wrench I've been selling these pretty good. Um, this gentleman actually bought three of them from me. Uh, he bought two and then one some other time. And again, $9.99. I have less than a dollar into these. I put them both together and sold them. I think shipping was like $4, $5. So um, about $15 profit. Not too shabby. These I purchased at a Goodwill back home when I went to visit. I paid, I believe, a dollar, maybe two dollars. I believe a dollar for these. Um, Sony headphones, vintage ones, do really well. These I sold for $19.99, free shipping. It sent uh, first class, so I had about $2.50 into shipping. Extremely light. They did work. I did test them. Um, did get positive feedback, so I'm happy about that. $20, about $15 profit. Again, with these uh, bulletproof vest carriers, um, these aren't the whole vest. These are just the part that carries the bulletproof vest. So um, Point Blank is a really good brand if you ever have the option to buy these. I purchased a dozen, maybe more, from a friend of mine for 15 bucks, and I've made a couple hundred uh, dollars selling them so far. This is the last decent one I have. I have some more, but probably not going to sell them. If I do, I'll lot them up and just sell them for 40 bucks. probably. I have about three or four. Uh, I got 20 bucks shipped for this. I believe it shipped, uh, I don't know, $5 shipping. I think it was a little less, but um, we'll say about $15 profit on that. This, again, is a... I believe I got this at the auction. Um, five dollars. I got two of them. This one was the better of the two condition-wise, so I put this one on eBay and I kept the other one for a flea market just so people can see um, the condition better. I sold this for fourteen ninety-nine, free shipping. Cost uh, like two fifty to ship, just a small first-class package. Um, so about ten dollars profit on that bad boy. This is just a lighter, by the way. Not sure if you knew that. Um, again, pay attention to the keywords. Keywords probably are as important, if not more important, than the quality of pictures. Um, they need to be able to find what they're looking for, and then obviously good pictures uh, enhances yours over other people's to put the icing on the cake. So good pictures, good keywords, that's how you sell more. It's not just about listing more, it's about the quality of your listing. So I only have probably 80 to 100 listings um, active at a time so I'm not a huge lister uh, but I still make between two and three thousand dollars worth of sales um, so yeah don't just list 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 make sure you're listing good stuff make sure your uh, listings are quality and you'll do just fine so this is the item I said at the beginning of the video that I sold for a thousand dollars that I'm not really counting towards my profits I actually paid a thousand dollars for this a few months ago I wrote it while the weather was nice I actually purchased the new V2 um, for 1500 it's on back order so I'm still waiting for it but I wanted to get this out before Christmas uh, because I knew that would be the time it would sell again boosted is not selling shipping out any boosted boards right now an issue with their batteries so I knew that kids are gonna want this and parents are willing to spend a little bit more so again you can get a brand new one uh, the newer version for 1500 but people are still paying eleven hundred dollars for this and I have 600 miles on it so it's been worn it's been it's been taken care of but it's definitely been road and beat um, you can see scratches all over it it worked extremely well it was a daily driver for me um, great way to go to the post office and back it cuts my uh, walk time from 10 minutes 
into about two minutes. So I didn't make any money on this sale after eBay fees and everything. Um, I probably lost 50 bucks, but I wrote it for a few months. I enjoyed it, and I was really blessed to get as much out of it as I did. So um, you're probably not going to find these in the field, but if you do, they command good money. So, And if you're looking for a fun toy, a boosted board is definitely the way to do it. I've had this for a couple years now. I don't know why it hasn't sold at a flea market. It's extremely cool. It is Shakespeare, and I eventually sold it for $14.99 free shipping. I put this in an actual envelope envelope because uh, I'm so cheap. Um, so I shipped this out for less than, or I guess mailed it out for less than a dollar. Um, so about $10 profit on that. It is sterling silver. These I purchased about a dozen or so, maybe 15, uh, for $5 at the auction. This is my third or fourth one I've sold. Um, some of them, again, with this, uh, when I have multiples of things, I make different listings. So these ones I'm selling for $14.99. Some I'm selling for $9.99 with $5 shipping. These were free shipping. Um, I've actually sold more with free shipping than $9.99 with shipping. But I have sold both. And this is about, it cost $5 to ship just because it's bulky. Uh, so it is, I made about $10 profit on that. Again, with these vintage safety glasses, people use these for motorcycle glasses uh, nowadays. Some people wear them just to be cool. Um, again, I got this in that lot with the other glasses for $5. And... With the leather sides, these are extremely sought after. If mine were a different color leather, I probably would have got a hundred bucks. But they sold for forty nine ninety nine. That is pure profit, um, minus the couple dollars for shipping. So we'll say forty five dollars profit. Um, vintage safety glasses are hot sellers right now, so keep your eye out for those. These Zippos. I've had for a while now. I think I paid $5 a piece for both of them or 8 for the pair. I did get two. I bought these at a flea market in the summer. Brand new sealed. I didn't sell them for as much as I thought I would. I got 11. They went to the same person, I believe. Maybe not. Um, 11. I really didn't make any money. Maybe a dollar or two on these. But hey, sometimes you lose. So these I got, they're just in a junk box I had. Um, don't really have any money into them. I sold them for $20 for the pair. Uh, they're pencils. Again, keywords, red, green, celluloid, mechanical, twist, all very important. So keywords are very important. I can't stress that enough. If you take one thing away from this video, it's keywords, keywords, keywords. So know what you're selling. If you don't know, just put some keywords in there. People know what they're buying. Again, more wrenches. Not going to get too far into that. We've already talked about it. Uh, these are just vintage movie reels. Um, a couple of them had very little film on them. I make sure that they have very little film because I have uh, got a warning selling these media mail if they don't have any film on them that it's not technically... Uh, media mail so make sure if you're selling movie reels you put some sort of old film on them uh, then you will not get in any trouble um, I've had these for almost a year probably I sold the other one for 45 maybe $50 it's probably in one of my sales videos um, these ones I got $29.99 $9.99 shipping and I think it was five or six bucks uh, media mail. So I'm probably going to say $30 profit on that. Again, here's that other Zippo. This speaker I paid $10 at the auction for. It came in a lot of things. I got this and some headphones. I think I paid $25 for the whole box. I sold one of the headphones for $20. And I sold these for $40. Um, shipping, I put this uh, in a flat rate envelope for $6. So I probably have $15 to $20 into this. Probably less than $20, but 
we'll say 20 so I made $20 profit on that this was just uh, in a junk box brand new for cats people love cats the tails are the hooks um, sold this for $12.99 free shipping two dollars and some cents shipping so about ten dollars profit on that these headphones I got at an or at the flea market that you guys go to me with me Jamie's I purchased these from the same people that I've been purchasing the CD players from that I've been doing really well I purchased these for ten dollars for two sets I sold this set for fifty dollars so as you can see here two sold the other one might be in here um, so a hundred dollars from eight dollars or ten dollars uh, really happy with that keep your eye out for these cordless headphones these are like knockoffs of the Bose I actually got an email uh, from eBay saying watch on your keywords don't use like Bose it's against their policy so be careful with that Nothing ever came from it, but uh, definitely be aware that there are policies and you should pay attention to them. Here is a sterling silver ring. I got this just for a couple bucks at a flea market. I sold it for $14.99 free shipping. Honestly, a ring like this, I feel like you should get way more than $15 for. You can't even buy a cheap ring for that. So Some people just don't want to pay anything, and some people like me will keep lowering their price just to get rid of it so it's probably my fault but I got about ten dollars profit out of that again with the shark teeth sold these for $9.99 so you probably haven't seen my drone videos uh, very often or in the near or in the recent future uh, that is because I crashed it and it's dead it's in several pieces um, it's about $1,500 down the drain, and unfortunately, I bought a new one, so I'm about $3,000 in for drones. I did not have DJI Care um, on the first one. I was never offered it. I didn't even know it existed until after I owned it. Um, so with it broken, I've been parting it out. I got $150 uh, for the controller. Great feedback left for me. So happy with that and drone videos in the future coming to you soon. My Sharpies are selling slowly, but I'm not going to lower my price and make $5 like everyone else is doing. So I sold these for $24.95. Um, I made about $10 profit, doubled my money. Here's that second pair of headphones I told you about, $49.99 again. This, I, it was in a box lot. I probably have less than a dollar into it. It was actually high quality made. It is Florentine leather made in Italy with really pretty gold gilding. I sold this for $14.99, shipped it for $2, so about $10 profit on that. Polaroids, you know I love Polaroids. Um, I sell them every single time I list them. I do test mine. It's not hard to test them. Just put in a film. It even can be expired film or an empty pack. If it cycles through and it cycles through smoothly, it's a good working Polaroid in my opinion. So I sold this for $29.99. I actually listened to a viewer. I usually sell mine for $24.99 free shipping because I have so little into them. Uh, he commented that he usually gets $30 from the same company, the Cream City or whatever. Uh, so I tried it, and lo and behold, it sold for $29.99, so I've missed out on a couple hundred dollars worth of $5 uh, less on my cameras. So from now on, depending on the camera, I'm going to up the price a little bit. Thank you for the tip, subscriber. This I actually got from a friend. Uh, they got it, didn't need it, didn't have that phone anymore. It was a brand new Mophie case. It's just like a juice pack, I think, but, or a juice pack the dock for the phone to charge it so this was completely free it's about there was a price tag on here somewhere I don't know where the price tag is but it's about fifty dollars in the store so fifteen or fourteen ninety nine fifteen dollars 
couple dollars to ship, ten dollars profit, but again, I had nothing into it. Light meters, vintage light meters for cameras, um, or self timers actually, not light meters, but light meters too. Vintage camera accessories like this do extremely well. Um, again, this is just stuff I have laying around. I have nothing into it. Uh, $14.99 I got for it. So um, that's all pro uh, about $10 profit. Old patches, car patches. Yes, they're dirty. They're cool. $14.99 is extremely cheap for these. Um, but I have less than a dollar into them, so I'm not too worried about it. It's about $10 profit on those. This is some kind of adding machine. Um, it's red. Red things sell really well. Um, it's interesting. It worked. A little different than any of the other ones I saw online because I had this on the back. Someone might have glued that on there. I have no idea. But it sold for $14.99. And I had nothing into it. It's just a little trinket that was in a box that I got. So about $10 profit on that. Massagers. Just about every video I would make, there's a massager in here. This is a Dr. Scholl's. Um, not the best, but if you get them and you can get them for a dollar or two, pick them up. You can always get $15 to $50 on them. I got $30 out of this one. Free shipping. Shipping on these is brutal, so... Make sure to build that into your price. Um, I probably only have about $15 profit into that or out of that. This one on here is actually a return. He bought two of them. And I just wanted to include this in this video uh, to talk to you real quick about making sure that you still have in stock what you're listing. So I got impatient, I think. I think I sold these at a flea market for $10 a piece. Um... Unfortunately, this gentleman bought two of them. His total was, I don't know, nineteen ninety eight or whatever it adds up to be. And I felt really bad because I looked for about three days. The guy thought, he kept emailing me back saying, I feel like you're scamming me somehow, blah, blah, blah. So I was really worried I was going to get bad feedback from this gentleman. I explained to him, hey, I'm sorry. I sell hundreds of items. Um, I... I honestly am sorry, and there's nothing I can do. If I ever get one in the future, I'll send it to you for free. Um, I never asked him not to send bad feedback. I just canceled the order. He actually told me, please don't cancel the order if it takes you six months to find it. I'd rather you find it and give it to me, but I'm pretty sure I sold it. So I just canceled the order. I didn't want all those negatives uh, somehow piling up for not shipping it out or late communication. So I just canceled it. And I got no bad feedback, thankfully. Um, again, another Polaroid in the box with the manual. This is not a very sought-after model. The button is probably the least common or the least sought-after Polaroid camera that I've ever had. Um, I only got $26.99, and that's with the box. The only reason I'm reselling these is because I bought a box of four of these, maybe five. Off of eBay, I sniped them for $40, I believe, for the whole box. They all had the original box and the manuals. So I've been, I kept one and I've sold three. So I've about tripled my money on that hustle. And um, yeah, so you can snipe stuff on eBay and resell it on eBay with better pictures and better keywords, parting them out and even make more money. So make sure you do that. Uh, vintage dice. This is actually um, an idea. I watched one of Casey's videos a while back. He said dice sell. I stumbled upon these dice. I got all five of them for a dollar. Um, I didn't do very well on them. I don't know. Uh, I would never waste my time on them again. But I guess if you have them and you can get ten bucks profit out of them, go for it. But by the time I ship these, Took pictures. I made about two or three dollars. Not really worth anything. So these games I got off of OfferUp, Solitaire, and Yahtzee. These are brand new, but as you can see on the bottom of the package, they are cut. They were probably bought from a thrift store. They seem to cut the packages so they can't be sold as new. Um, 
but very sought after models right here. If these weren't cut and I could send these into Amazon, I probably would have made about $100 profit. I got both of these for $10, I believe. I sold them for $39.99, free shipping, shipped them out for, I don't know, $350 and probably around $20, $25 profit. This was really cool. I got this at an auction. Um, this is actually someone else's pictures. Uh, the stock picture, I just cropped it in a little bit, and I sold it for $14.99. I do have $5 into this. The lot did have some other items, um, nothing that I can remember. Not, maybe the tractor, the green tractor in one of my sales update videos, or my haul videos. I believe that was in with this. And I haven't sold that yet. I haven't even listed it. But this one, I got $15 for. They loved it. They left good feedback. And so I got about $10 profit out of that. Again, with these banks, I'm doing pretty good on those. I find buying uh, interesting items in lots is really nice because you can take one picture and just make multiple listings and you do the work once and you can sell it 15 to 20 times so I'm starting to really like that uh, formula and I'm gonna try more of that in 2017 William in Sonoma these pans I've had these pans for months and months and months I've been saving them up I got about four or five different ones as you can see this one is in pretty rough condition um, people love polishing these up some people cook with them some people just use them for display, but they command really good money. These ones, uh, I didn't get. These are small, so it's only a 5-inch pan. I got $23 plus 15 shipping. It was less than 15 bucks to ship, so we'll say $25. I think I only have a few bucks into these, maybe just a couple bucks into them. So I'm going to say comfortably $20 profit here. Um, keep your eye out for these copper pans. Make sure they are not modern-day knockoffs made in China. Um, good brands you want to keep out for are uh, Bazaar 666, extremely collectible. I have a few. Um, people pay upwards of 100 bucks for a pan, so keep your eye out for that. Vintage William and Sonoma, that's always a good one. And then just keep your eye out, and if they're built well and they look like they're built old, just buy them if they're cheap enough. They will sell. People like the look. And the last item, or the first item I sold in December, is this shirt. I got this, oh my god, a couple years ago. Maybe not a couple years ago, but well into a year. A year ago, I got this at a garage sale for a couple bucks. Um, There was a sticker on it. I think I took it off. Um, I just... You know, the death piles, they pile up. This was something that I thought, eh, I'll sell it. And I sold it for $14.99. After shipping, I probably only made six, seven bucks on it, but it's gone. Um, I was never going to throw this away. It's too nice, and I'm, uh, I don't know. I have a problem throwing away perfectly good stuff. So this I was never going to sell. Yeah, right there you can see the sticker. Um, I was never going to throw this away, so six, seven bucks. I took the picture with my cell phone. I'm happy with that. So that is everything I sold this month. Make sure uh, to stay tuned. More videos coming real soon. Uh, I'm going to get that drone out real soon and uh, make some more interesting, fun, entertaining videos. So in the comment box below, I'm going to ask you a favor. Leave me some of uh, your goals of 2017. Um, if you don't feel comfortable leaving your goals or don't want to leave your goals, Leave me some ideas of videos you want to see. I make videos that I think are interesting or entertaining or informational. Um, but what really matters is that you guys are getting what you want out of these videos. So make sure to ask me uh, what you want to see. Tell me what you want to see. And I'll be uh, happy to make those videos for you guys. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please leave the comment in the box below like I just asked. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Um, I'm trying to at least triple, maybe quadruple my channel in 2017, and I can't do that without your guys' help. So please help me do that, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Peace. <music>